buy, and what we don't, we'll make. Hello there, What's On Stage is back at the National Theatre today as we've been invited into rehearsals to meet some of the cast of the world premiere stage adaptation of Ballet Shoes based on Noel Streetfield's much-loved novel. Rehearsals are going really well. Yeah, um, I mean... I don't think I've ever worked with the company of such amazing dancers, uh, having like not done a musical or anything like that. So it's quite new for me. We started off doing a lot of dancing. So we actually did uh, a lot of ballet lessons and we're doing them consistently. So for some of us that aren't, you know, haven't trained in ballet and haven't done ballet before, it was a bit daunting at first. Um, but actually that's something that I've been surprised that I've really enjoyed. I mean, we have been doing ballet classes, which I've actually really enjoyed. It's been amazing. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know if I'm going to carry on with it, but my arms look great. I mean, as soon as I could, like, move, I was dancing. So my mum put me into ballet when I was, like, three years old, just so that I could stop, like, moving about the house all the time. Um, and my older sister did it as well, so I was like very keen as soon as I saw that that was something I could do. So I kept doing ballet training all, all growing up in Sheffield, um, and I trained at Northern Ballet as well on the weekends. So it's come in very handy <laughs> for this. How's the ballet going for me? Um, I, I, same as you, Nexia. I, I well, I had no experience in, in ballet at all, and. It, the first day was actually shocking because we have so much of, um, we have a really big cast for this and a huge kind of like dance based ensemble. And the first day I really, <laughs> yeah, I really thought we were all kind of going to like figure it out together. And then we had Eddie come in for our first bit of choreography and it was like five, six, seven, and, da, 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 and everyone was just like, zoom, zoom, and I was like, oh. Okay. <laughs> Can I just say as well, like <laughs> ballet is so hard. Like it's a completely, new language like when you haven't done it as well but these like you guys are actually gonna <laughs> we're trying yeah, we're gonna go there, but you actually <laughs> yeah. are killing it like every time i look over you just you're just getting it yeah it's an amazing room i like the creative team are incredible um katie Rudd, our director and ellen kane uh, just work so well together um and it's really nice to be in a room led by two strong powerful females as well so yeah, it's great, especially for a story that's about girls and women and them finding their destiny and leaning into their own power. It's really nice to be led by a strong female creative team. Ballet Shoes is about the Fossil Sisters, uh, Pauline Petrova and Posey, uh, who live in a house, a crumbling house of dinosaur bones. Um, they've been found by their great uncle Matthew um, and adopted. Um, and then he kind of vanishes. He goes off on another fossil hunting expedition. He's an archaeologist. Um, so they're left with his genuine great niece, Garni, who I play. Um, and their nana to sort of, and the, the two of them are kind of left to look after these girls and keep the house standing. And it's, um, yeah, it's not as easy as it may sound. I'm playing Pauline. She is the oldest sister out of the fossils, out of the fossil sisters. And um, her kind of journey in this is really actually defining what sisterhood means to her, to what family means to her. And I think in some ways I can, I can relate to that. I come from a quite a, a big family, but I've grown up very like far away from them and um, and kind of trying to understand where, where, where I fit into that family. And I can empathize with that side of Pauline for sure. I play Petrova, Fossil. So Petrova is the middle sister um, of the Fossils. And uh, Petrova's interests are a, a little bit different to the other two, uh, not conventional for a girl in the 1930s, so I'm more interested in cars and aeroplanes than 
dancing and acting and she's the problem solver um, and that's something that I really relate to. Um, growing up I was very observant as a child um, and I think I knew more than the adults in my life thought I knew and I think she's very much like that and she's constantly trying to fix things for other people because she's very empathetic. I play Posy Fossil, the youngest of the three fossils and yeah, she is left, you know, with a pair of ballet shoes and so immediately she is set that this is kind of her destiny to become a professional ballerina just like her biological mother. Um, and yeah, I think I relate to Posy in many ways. I have two older sisters as well. So reading the book growing up, I was like, I always related to Posy the most. <laughs> so I was like, you know, fighting for your voice to be heard when you're the youngest. That's um, definitely a real thing. But yeah, she's very, she's very headstrong. I think I'm the same as well. Um, so yeah, it's really, it's like really great to be able to bring these, these incredible sisters to, to life. I think Kendall's adaptation as well is really kind of brings this what is such a beautiful and poignant story written in 1934 um, and just kind of brings it into our modern sensibilities kind of makes it more of a London that we would recognize though obviously the reality of London in the 1930s is that it was diverse um, it, that's really represented within the casting um, and within the characters journeys as well like particularly with Jai and with Miss Theo Dane um, they definitely had journeys where they've come overseas from America and from India respectively um, and I think that that's just a really important thing for young children to see you know young global majority children coming to a show at the National Theatre at Christmas it's such an important thing to see themselves represented um, you know through the diversity of the casting of the girls and also the rest of the ensemble as well it's one of the most diverse companies that I've worked with which for me is really exciting. I'm just watching it from inside of rehearsal, but the, some of these big, kind of bigger dance sequences are just unbelievable, just unbelievable. And on top of that, we have like an illusionist working yeah. with some of the ensemble as well. So there's just, there's definitely moments of spectacle that you just sit back and I'm sitting in the corner of the room just like, this is nuts. The ballerinas that we have in the cast as well, their, yeah, their sequences are just, ooh amazing really really beautiful and also all the other dance styles we have like we've we've got a real range I think especially with it being in the 30s like we've got really nice swing elements yeah. that I really enjoy as well but also we've got some nice bits of jazz and yeah a real range I mean the set is absolutely amazing um, it's it's magical it moves things are not what they look like what they first appear to be um, and I just think I mean we as a bunch of adults were so blown away when we saw it um, and I think the way that the choreography interacts with the set as well is gonna be I think it's gonna be amazing I think people are really gonna like you know I love shows where you're suddenly like oh my god that's that uh, you know and yeah I think people are gonna love that it's um but also just the spectacle of it, like the spectacle of the, of all the dancing and how that kind of melds into the story. And yeah, I think it's, I think it's a little bit magic. Ballet Shoes runs at the Nationals Olivier Theatre from the 26th of November 2024 through to the 22nd of February 2025. As always, you can leave your thoughts about the show in the comments section down below. But please, for the love of plies and pirouettes, keep it kind. Give us a like, subscribe to our channel, and ring that bell for notifications. And I'll see you next time for What's On Stage. What are you most looking forward to about spending the festive season working here at the National? Oh, that's a good question. What am I looking for? I mean, well, first, it's just nice to have a job over the festive period, isn't it? <laughs> um, <laughs> Uh, look, come on. I mean, I'm really just excited to spend Christmas with this cast because... No. <laughs> no, seriously. Is that too cheesy? Oh. <laughs>
<laughs> no, seriously. Just come see the show. Mm-hmm. Uh, bring your friends. Bring your family. That's yeah. that's it. That's all from me.